Hello, today I'm going to talk about what's probably the most showy orchid we have in the northeast of England, and this is the lesser butterfly orchid. In fact, I'm going to tell you about the greater butterfly orchid as well, for reasons that we'll come to in a moment. But this one is the lesser butterfly orchid, and I'm sitting near Cresswell Ponds, uh, and I'm surrounded by them. There must be 150 or 200 spikes of lesser butterfly orchid and in between there are uh, common spotted orchids and a huge amount of, um, of Dyer's greenweed. It's the most beautiful site, one of the most beautiful sites I think I've been to this summer. But what about this orchid? Well, you can see why it's called a butterfly orchid just about. I suppose it's, the, the plant flowers do look a bit like a, um, a rather feebly winged butterfly. And I've said there are two sorts, but they share a lot of characters. The greater butterfly orchid, Platanthera chlorantha, and the lesser butterfly orchid, Platanthera bifolia. And the lesser one is called bifolia because it has two leaves at the base, rather like a tway blade in fact. Sometimes they can have three and very rarely they can have four, but usually it's two, hence bifolia. And um, the, the stems are usually about uh, 15 centimetres high, big ones can be 20 or 25, and the flowers have the standard orchid pattern. The, the greater butterfly orchid is called Platanthera chlorantha because it's said that the flowers have a slight greenish tinge to them. Well, I think you can probably see from this lesser butterfly orchid that they do as well, so it's not a terribly good name. Um, the, uh, the structure is the same for lesser and greater, but greater also has two leaves, occasionally three. Um, but what makes them uh, different, what you can, how you can tell them apart is by looking at them very carefully with your hand lens and you really must have a hand lens to do this and if I look inside the flowers I can see that the pollen masses, the pollinia, in this one are roughly parallel. They're a sort of orangey yellow colour and they're roughly parallel on either side of the gap which goes down into the spur. If this was a greater butterfly orchid they would be divergent, quite wide, a bit like an A shape with a, a cross missing. And really, I have to tell you, that's the only difference. Um, greater butterfly orchid you think will be bigger. Well, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. I've told you about the greenness, they both do that. They both have the same sorts of leaves. And in fact, genetically, they're so similar that some people think they really should be the same species. It seems, however, as though what has happened is that they've evolved, and in fact the greater butterfly orchid appears to have evolved from the lesser. And if you come to this field at dusk, say in the summer it will be half past nine, something like that, the orchids begin to give off a very strong scent, very sweet scent, and that attracts night flying moths. And it seems as though the greater butterfly orchid has evolved to attract different moths from the lesser butterfly orchid. And that accounts for the difference in shape of the pollinia. Some moths maybe favour one shape, some moths favour another. So um, they are kept in the UK as different species. They're genetically very, very similar. And you do need a hand lens and a steady eye to tell them apart. But they are beautiful plants if you get to see them. And uh, uh, this particular field, as I say, is full of butterfly orchids.